Okay, I'm going to show you how to download and install the latest version of QuickBooks on desktop. That's assuming you have the version of QuickBooks that gets installed in a Windows type of machine. If you're working with QuickBooks Online or if you're working with QuickBooks Mac, this video is not for you. This video is only for the people that have QuickBooks Pro, QuickBooks Premier, QuickBooks Accountant, and QuickBooks Enterprise. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to this website www.qbdownload.com that's going to forward you to this website and if you scroll down you should see a link that says download quickbooks desktop on the right side it says download and updates you can also click on that so either one download and updates on the right side or download quickbooks desktop on the bottom both will take you to the exact same page i'm going to take this URL and copy it on the description below that way you, you can just click on it so you don't have to go into the domain name itself. Now down here it will tell you what version is currently selected. You would have to check based on where you bought it, how you bought it, what version you have. If you click on the change button here you can choose the version. So there's QuickBooks Pro, QuickBooks Premier, QuickBooks Accountant, QuickBooks Enterprise, QuickBooks Mac and QuickBooks Point of Sale. So let's say you purchase QuickBooks Desktop Accountant, you click on that and then you can scroll up and down depending on the version. Let's, let's say you bought QuickBooks Accountant 2018, we'll click on that. My favorite version by the way, it's the one that I sell to most of my clients. And then you will then notice that the correct version will be highlighted here. So once you know that you are on the correct version, you can click on the big download button. And you're going to see here on the bottom left, and this is, uh, I'm doing this from Google Chrome, you see that icon there that says set up QuickBooks and you're going to click on that and it will take you to the installer. Now for those folks that are using Internet Explorer instead of Google Chrome, let me show you what, how that experience looks like. So I'm going to click on download desktop, I'll click here on US version, then I click on go to downloads and updates page. Again, I'm going to put that link down below. Then I'm going to click on change so I can choose my right version. Click on desktop accountant. Click, click on accountant 2018. Then click on the big download button. And now notice that with Internet Explorer, it looks a little bit different. It says, do you want to save, set up QuickBooks, blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to click on run. which by the way is the exact same thing as double clicking on the Chrome icon on the download window here in the bottom. Let me minimize this. Then you're gonna get this actual download box that's gonna go through the process of downloading QuickBooks for you. That should take uh, 10 to 15 minutes depending on you know, what your internet uh, broadband speed. So you just wait uh, 10, 15 minutes and uh, it should be ready to install afterwards. Once the download finishes, you will go to the screen, the installation screen. You're going to click on next. Then you're going to get this installer screen, which is actually going to have the QuickBooks logo in it. That means we're close. We're getting closer and closer to the actual installation screen. So we'll go ahead and click on next. We'll accept the terms. I guess I should, I should read this, right? Uh, maybe later. <laughs> Accept the terms, click next. Then you're going to enter the license code that you got via email or whichever way you purchase the software. If you bought it from a box, it should be in the box somewhere. But most people buy them through the web, through Amazon, through resellers like my company and enter the license code there. If you don't have a license code, you can enter this one, the one you see on the screen. That's the license code for the 30 day free trial of QuickBooks. Premier 2018. However, you should use your own code, of course, because if not, it will expire in 30 days. So after you put the license code, you click on next. It's going to ask you whether you want express or custom and network options. Now, this is a really important piece only if you have a multi-user setup. So if you have more than one computer connecting into QuickBooks at the same time because you have a multi-user setup, you must pay close attention to this. If you don't have a multi-user setup, then you can just pick this express option. Okay. 
if you do have a multi-user setup where you have a server and some workstations, you want to pick this one called Custom and Network Options, and then we click on Next. Then it's going to ask you three questions. I will be using QuickBooks on this computer. I will be using QuickBooks on this computer and sharing your company over the network. And I will not be using QuickBooks on this computer, but I will be sharing it over the network. So this is the deal. If you're installing it in one of the workstations that's going to connect to a server, then you pick option one. If you're installing it on the server itself, on the computer that's going to become the server, then you pick option two, and then every other computer will have to be option one. Very important. If you install in two computers using option two, your networking is going to have all sorts of issues. So again, option one, if you're installing it in a workstation or in a non-network environment, option two, if you happen to be installing it in the server in which you're going to have the QuickBooks database set up it. Now we click on next. And we click on finish. Then you're going to get the installation screen and you're going to wait another five to 10 minutes to wait for that to finish. Okay, that took about 15 minutes on my computer. Once you get the congratulations screen, in some cases, it will ask you to restart. And after you restart, you'll be able to open QuickBooks. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on open QuickBooks, which by the way, you can open by clicking on your QuickBooks icon that should now be on your desktop. Once you see the QuickBooks icon with a green circle logo, you can actually get rid of the installers. My installers were actually on my desktop, so I can get rid of them um, because I do have the QuickBooks with the green logo because really that's the one that matters. And when you first open QuickBooks, it should look like this. If you already have a file in your computer, uh, from maybe from an older version of QuickBooks or maybe a file that somebody gave to you, you need to know where physically it is on the computer. So you can click on open and restore company file and you can go find it and open the database. If you want to play, you can click on open sample file. You can click on the drop down and choose any of the options that it gives you to open a sample file. You can play around with it. Or if you're starting brand new from scratch, you can click on create new company. Now, creating a new company is a pretty long process, especially if you have to bring in opening balances from previous years. If you have to set up your chart of accounts, if you have to configure your forms, your invoices by adding a logo and changing it so it works for your business, I would strongly recommend that you work with a QuickBooks Pro Advisor, a QuickBooks Consultant, or your own accountant if, if that person happens to be good at QuickBooks to help you through this setup. Because if you get the setup done right, you will have a pleasant QuickBooks experience. If your setup is all over the place and you start on the wrong foot, you will probably have a negative experience with QuickBooks. So make sure that you work with a professional that can help you with that. Now I'm going to put a link below to a video that's actually lesson one of the course that I sell, which takes you through the setup screen. That's the only one that I'm making available to the public. And if you want to purchase the entire course, there will be a link on that video. But at least I will make that lesson available so you can get through this screen by clicking on create new company and explains exactly how to create a new company. And finally, if you have not purchased QuickBooks yet and you're not sure which version you should have that works best for your business, there's our phone number and my email. Reach out to us. We will help you choose the right version for your business. Thank you.